Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the R cross E character matrix as the input and navigate through the matrix based on the given conditions. So the conditions are if the below cell has alphabet then it must navigate down or if the right cell of the current cell is digit means it must navigate right so else we must break so the program has to accept the r cross c character matrix then navigate through the matrix based on the given conditions if the below cell cell has alphabet that is if the below cell of the current cell has alphabet then it must navigate down well, if the right cell of the current cell has digit means it must navigate right else break now we'll understand with our test case so here we have phi cross phi matrix so first we have p and when you see the the element below p it is an alphabet so when in the right side of the p it is an digit so you will navigate right then after that you can see the below cell below cell of the 6 is z which is an alphabet so we will navigate through z then below z we have we don't have the digit so but in right side we have 7 so we will navigate through 7 then after that below 7 we have i which is an alphabet so we will na navigate through i then below i we don't have an alphabet or we don't have a digit so in right side also we don't have a digit so since we are not having digits we will stop here we will break the loop and this will be our That is P six Z seven I. Now we'll understand our second test case. So first we'll start here. Then we look for the digit. So we'll move towards right. So we'll navigate through nine. Then after that we have the alphabet U, so we'll navigate to U. Then after U, in the below cell we don't have a digit, but in the right right side we have zero, so we'll navigate to zero. Then after zero we have the below cell to be an alphabet, so we'll navigate through W. Then below W we don't have the digit, so in the right side we have seven, so we'll navigate through seven. Then after 7 we have the alphabet below the cell. Then after i we don't have the, uh, the digit below the cell. But we have in right side we have 3. So we will navigate to 3. And below 3 we have the alphabet E. Then after E we have to move right side as it have the digit. Then then below 3 we have the digit 
and in right side also we have the digit 6 so we'll navigate to 6 then after 6 we have the alphabet below it is Y so we'll navigate through Y then after that we don't have any cells to traverse so we'll stop here so our output will be Q9 U0 W7 I3 E3 6 Y Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the number of rows and columns. Then we'll get the matrix. Input of dot split off for row in range R. Then after that we'll have two variables X and Y as the row and zero. Then we'll run a while loop while x lesser than r and y lesser than c. That is the element does not exceed the matrix. Then we check whether if so before that we have to print the matrix x y and use the end argument and check whether if it is possible to move the below the cell so that is and if it is that uh, the matrix of the x plus 1 y is alpha means so if it is alpha bet we have to increment the x plus 1 then l if if it is possible to move right side of the cell and the matrix of the x plus 1 sorry x y plus 1 is digit means we have to increment the y by 1 else we have to break so first we are getting the inputs then we are having two variables 0 comma 0 then in we are applying the while loop so so this one will make sure that the cell that the element does not exceed the matrix then we are printing the matrix then if it is possible to move below the cell and if it is alpha means we have to increment the x by 1 so if it is false then we use the elif that is if it is possible to move the right side of the cell and if it is the digit then we have to increment the y by 1 else we have to break the loop now we'll execute our program We'll pass our first test case so here we have got the correct output now we'll pass our second test case so here we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully <laughs> hope you guys understand Thanks for watching. See you next video.